Welcome back, Wolfpack Bros, here to the start of Fan Friday. So we have some interesting stuff going on in this battle right now. Like, I see a Trevenant. The crazy thing is that Trevenant's been available in Pokemon Sun and Moon the entire time, but we haven't seen it at all. And also, since it's a Lola Dex, there should theoretically be less counters or less other options compared to the Trevenant. Stuff like that Pokemon does something. Same for the Machamp. Like, Machamp is still a very solid Pokemon. Has a surprising amount of bulk, does a really good amount of damage, but we're still just not seeing it. It's just Tapu's Guard Shop and the Mega Lucario, which is most of this guy's team for the opponent, but setting up the Aurora Veil under that hail. So, Ninetales going for some craziness right now. Machamp is going to also respond with the Poison Jab. Interesting little move right there, but it will not be enough to two-hit KO the Ninetales. That Roar Veil means like, yeah, it would have just it would have just taken damage and not died. So Ninetales going to set up the nasty plot with that information right there. Like, okay, you hit me, I survive, and now you're just gonna get wrecked by any fairy type move, and that snowball the victory. So that's gonna be a dynamic punch onto the Ninetales, adding that confusion factor into what could happen, and then Machamp taking a little bit more hail damage. So, Ninetales is going to take that. Actually, Ninetales is not going to take the plus two from the Nasty Plot, and that is a Bullet Punch from the Machamp. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, Bullet Punch, that's going to be 160 power after the four times super effective hit. So, the same damage as Poison Jab. I guess just holding on that priority and not making it look obvious, because then the opponent just kind of fell into that trap. So, Garchomp going to use the Earthquake onto Machamp. Machamp's gonna survive, and that's what I mean, like, Machamp's a good option. It just tanks up hits and does a good amount of damage while also throwing down that Confusion. But Machamp getting nerfed because Confusion got nerfed. Just unfortunate right there, so Machamp's gonna take that rough skin. Garchomp gets buffeted by Hail, Machamp gets buffeted by Hail, and I guess you just bullet punch before you die. And that's kind of it. Or you can gamble on the Confusion. Garchomp, though. It does get through the confusion. Nothing hits itself in confusion anymore for the seventh generation. That nerf too strong. And then Machamp will go down. So Garchomp's got a little bit of confusion. And now we are going to have the hail in. And it's effectively just a refresh into the Trevenant. Now Trevenant actually has a good matchup against Garchomp because Garchomp doesn't have any ridiculous hits against it. Okay, the Outrage. You don't see Outrage too often, so maybe that's going to be the craziest thing we're going to see. But Trevenant... Going to tank up that hit and also go for that key berry with the Trevenant and then wow wow this is the craziest physical defensive Trevenant I've ever seen so that's different because yeah it survived the outrage with ease it also has the key berry and also Willowis but now look at that damage cut losing so much damage now down to like a quarter of the damage it was doing and then it's the Trivenant special it's it's going to be the leech seed are we going to see the harvest harvest keyberry wait that's new to me so wh where's the sustain coming in so we have leech seed we have keyberry so no leftovers no citrus berry Trevenant's harvest is going to find a keyberry so it's a stamina mudsdale it, it becomes a mudsdale but just defensive and also sustaining. All right. So going for the rock slide, I don't know what the opponent's going to accomplish right there. It just procs the key berry for free. What is this? How come no one's done this? But and it even has reflect. Why? That's ridiculous. And when you think about it, an outrage guard chomp is the most neutral physical damage almost any Pokemon will ever see because that's just going to be stab on top of high base power on top of high damage into the key berry so if it wasn't even a physical guard chomp the opponent would have nothing the opponent would have nothing and he goes into Lucario and if the Lucario is physical then the game is over so Trevenant with that will-o-wisp wait did he just predict the switch oh my goodness I mean when you have Leech Seed reflect up and everything, I guess you just start throwing out moves. So that is going to be the Keystone into the Mega Lucario. Now, I'm guessing that's just full hit points, full defense, Keyberry, and not like special defense investment into the Keyberry. So Crunch, not going to do anything. And guess what? The Keyberry activates again. Also, remember, there's Reflect up. What is this Trevenant? Uh, does it even have Horn Leech? I'd imagine, what, Will-O-Wisp? 
is also okay. I was about to say, where's the damage on the on the Trevenant? But you do have the Will O Wisp, you do have the Leech Seed, so the opponent's losing a, a quarter of their hit points every turn. I don't think the Swords Dance is going to matter when you break down the Lucario and then the Leech Seed is going to come in. Um, so now Lucario is doing like neutral damage, or it's, uh, it, it's covering for the loss from the burn right there. Oh, wait, never mind. Burn is a 16th now, so it's only doing 3 eighths. I'm used to 6th gen Trevenant. Where you burn for a quarter of their health, and then you like heal for more than a quarter of your health. Like, a lot of your health. Because you have like Leech Seed on top of Citrus Berry, and then you just do whatever. So Trevenant, we finally see the offensive move, Shadow Claw right there. Just trying to chip together some neutral damage, and then that's going to be the Leech Seed. That's going to be the burn. The plus two Lucario is not going to have enough to deal with this. Even with its super effective crunch, because Key Berry keeps activating. Uh, Reflect is going to wear off, which helps Lucario out a lot, but then it gains sustain off Leech Seed. Remember, this also includes a Leech Seed miss. Crunch going to be a solid hit, but it's not going to be enough. Keyberry activates again. How do you... Yeah. I'm, like, thinking, how do you do anything to this? Like, if, if the opponent has physical Pokemon team... Wow, this is, like, one of the best physical takes I've ever seen. That's great. And then Leech Seed going to heal up, and then the Burn's going to take it down. And there goes Lucario. And now the opponent has nothing. I would have to say the opponent should have nothing. Oh man, what a. I thought say, does Trevenant work the other way around? But I think where this really shines is that you Will O Wisp on top of all that Keyberry. That's like you get special defense into Moranga Berry, but just having that physical damage out is going to be better. And the opponent, he's getting desperate right now. So. Tries to swap out the guard chop, refresh the lead seed, using that turn to go for the swords dance. The opponent has all the swords dance, and it doesn't even matter. Because, like, you will a wisp, Valer goes that turn. You go for the reflect, Valer goes that turn of swords dance. They finally hit you for about neutral, and there goes the key berry, so there goes the other swords dance. They go to plus six, and it means nothing. Oh, that's disgusting. And then guard chop with the outrage. That is the least damage that a Swords Dance Garchomp's Outrage has ever done in the history of Pokemon. I can guarantee it. And then Garchomp, rough skin at the end, but the Shadow Claw will take it down. What a strange set. And again, like, I'm trying to figure out where it could go wrong because your only sustain is Leech Seed. And you're, like, you're only good against physical Pokemon. We can take that. But against, like, Garchomp and Lucario, those are some of the craziest physical threats that any Pokemon could encounter, and Trevenant dealt with them. So it's not like, oh, what if this happens? Like, no. Even though you're lacking sustain, you just get tanky enough. You don't have, like, you don't even Leech Seed protect. You just take less damage than you're receiving off of only Leech Seed. I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around that one. Wow, okay. Um, let's do another one of those. So... What do we, what can we even, I'm, I'm, I don't know guys, like that is, that, I'm not saying that broke me in, in the ways that other fan Fridays have broken me, but that is making me think pretty seriously, and I love this guy, I am, I am 100% for this fan Friday submission because I am a huge fan of the Keyberry and the Moranga Berry, and now we're going to go and see it in a double battle, so why not? Keyberry, Moranga Berry, those are some very powerful items. Didn't think about the Harvest for some reason, because whenever you think ar Harvest, you think, I need the Citrus Berry. I need to be gaining three-eighths of my health every turn while the opponent is, like, losing all of their health as well. And that is going to be Machamp Trevenant versus the very suspicious Drampa and Porygon 2 for the opponent's side of the field right there. And Trevenant with that Leech Seed going to go and tag onto the Porygon 2. And then the Champ with the Dynamic Punch onto the Dramp. Wow, the opponent just just leading with super effective hits. And that's the power of Machamp. It just, boom. Dynamic Punch going to be just a one-shot. Drampa doesn't get a chance to do anything under the Trick Room. Not bulky enough with those super effective hits. And the opponent's just like leading double normal. So very frail to that fighting right there. It feels like fighting has a lot of super effective hits this generation. There's not a lot of fighting Pokemon. That's kind of how I feel about it. Alright, and then we're going to see Toxapex with that Toxic against the opponent's very likely to be hacked team right now. Remember guys, like I don't understand what people say, oh, people can get shinies. One, shiny hunting is 
maybe slightly easier this generation. It's not like, oh, now everyone gets a shiny. Like, shiny Pokemon should still be uncommon, but that just kind of shows how bad of a system it is. Like, how many hacked Pokemon there are in this game right now is if people thinking full shiny teams are common enough to where you're not allowed to suspect that they're hacked. That's bad. That shows that we have a hacking problem because maybe... 5% of the battlers, like 5% of the Pokemon players out there, have one competitive shiny Pokemon on their team. Not, you know, a respectable 1 in 3 people having full shiny p teams, and then even more having, like, half shiny teams or something like that. Also, another thing is that they don't even need to have a full shiny team to be suspected hackers. That most of the people that are hacking the game are going to be using non-shiny teams to not look like they're cheating. But that's the people that just don't care. The ones that are go blatant. Which is also why it's easier to call them a hacker. Like, mostly, most of the people, like, a majority of the people are hacking anyways when it comes to Pokemon. Especially on the battle spot. But then it's just shameless. And we've seen that on the channel. We've seen an insane amount of hacking defense. It's just same shameless when we have the full shiny team. I'm going to bet money that the next Pokemon is going to be shiny because he doesn't care. Also, VGC players, double players, very likely to hack as well because they have that mentality of I, it's not about breeding, it's about skill. Testing a team as well, it's all about hacked and whatnot. So we're going to see the Primarina come in and shiny Primarina. Come on, guys. There's no way you can defend this guy. So Trevenant... Just gonna do his thing. Toxapex with a Venoshock and the Poison onto Machamp. Machamp has the knockoff. So going to get that damage and get rid of that Black Sludge. Trevenant with the Leech Seed also on the Primarina. And that's where the double battles comes into play. Because, oh, the Dazzling Gleam. That's gonna mess up Machamp's day. That's also gonna do a lot of damage to Trevenant because we know it's a physical Trevenant. So he's not happy in this situation. But when you get double Leech Seed down, then the opponent's, the opponent's game is just done. So that's going to be Leech Seed from the Tox Specs. That's going to be Leech Seed from the Primarina. Now we're gaining a quarter of our health. Well, roughly, you know, it bases off of total health. So if Trevenant has full hit point investment, probably going to be getting slightly less than a quarter of its health. Let's get what we'll look at. And then Shinodic comes into play. So what is Shinodic going to add to this? Like, I guess it just spores things. Shinodic with a spore. Ah, uh, the Primarina gets the Protect on that Spore play. Um, my guess is that Primarina was expecting something like the just Giga Drain, just super effective hit from the Grass-type Pokemon. Trevenant with the Will-O-Wisp, though. Toxpex will protect this turn. And... Or avoids it. Actually, no, he avoids it because he went for the Recover. It was Primarina that protected. So, yeah, the... Unluck right there, but still just kind of chipping away. And because that with that safe turn, Trevenant gains another quarter of its hit points without being touched. So now it's looking to have some really good health right now. Primarina with that Dazzling Gleam. Going to go and try to hit both opponents. Trevenant going to take a little bit of damage. Critical hit. So survives the crit. And then what is that? What is that? Don't do this to me, man. You're using the Key Berry and the Moranga Berry. Moranga Berry Shinotic. I've considered it. Because you gain special defense and then you lower the target's physical attack with the strength sap. And I think, I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell because Shinotic needs like a lot more points and a lot less weakness. But gets a spore onto Primarina, so that means more health for Trevenant. And it looks like the Toxapex isn't really putting any damage threat onto the Trevenant. So Trevenant's just going to keep gaining. So that's going to be double Leech Seed, quarter of its health. Toxapex is also burned. So going to take a little bit of damage from that. Primarina's asleep, so we don't have to worry about any damage. And then we're going to see what Shinotic does just to kind of add to this. Um, I'm wondering what you can do to just kind of take out this Toxpex. Trevenant with the Shadow Claw needs to get the damage down. A little bit of damage right there. Toxpex with that Venoshock. So Venoshock going for the damage onto Shinotic. Super effective, but not enough. And Shinotic with the Giga Drain on the Primarina. Good damage, but not in an insanely threatening amount. So Shinotic not even getting poisoned, but the Phenoshock still having a solid amount of damage. And that's going to be a Citrus Berry from the Primarina, and then it just loses a lot of that health back because of the Leech Seed. So Trevenant's sustained. Like, Trevenant's just been sitting there, going down to red, and then popping back up over half health. Because the opponent takes damage, they need to do something differently, and then it just free turns for the Trevenant. What is Shinotic going to do? 
So Toxic Packs could recover and become annoying like that. Shinotic, I guess that's just free KO against pre, uh, Primarina. And yeah, you just you just kind of let things take their, their course. So Trevenant, with that Reflect, the opponent isn't using physical attacks. So I don't understand the Reflect. Uh, we see Toxic Packs with the Venus Shock. So going to go and finish off Shinotic is what it's looking like. Unless it's just not enough damage. Shinotic has that Giga Drain. Prima Primarina will go down. Shinotic back at full health. And I guess the opponent has to has to forfeit right now because there's nothing. It's it's a 1v3. And it's top specs that's burned and seeded. And if it if it uses recover, it loses a lot of that recovery just off of the residual damage. Shadow Claw is going to be a lot. It just can, can get out sped, I guess, and then die. And that is going to be the game right there. So, weirdness. Um, that Trevenant didn't, didn't do craziness, I feel, for the double battle, because it didn't, like, wall out a physical Pokemon infinitely, but at the same time, we get to see the synergy, that Machamp's just a good Pokemon, Shinotic is frustrating in doubles, because it can put a lot of Pokemon to sleep, but once you get double Leech Seed, Trevenant doesn't die, whether it's Key Berry, whether it's Citrus Berry, whether it's Moringa Berry, whether it's, whatever it's doing, um, I feel that that Reflect for doubles is good but maybe a little overkill maybe you need that protect you know if you had protect that means you're gaining half your health before you take damage like you take a hit you gain a quarter you protect you gain a quarter and that's pretty crazy right there so if you guys enjoyed this battle a uh, crazy start to fan fridays i love the tech just seeing trevenant in general and then seeing a really good trevenant very surprising so guys enjoy the video i'll see you guys in the next fan fridays